the next thing I want to show you is how to make the ear and it's two colors. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to make the ear and it's two colors and this one I made like uh, there's two different ways you can make it one that kind of shows the inner lining like this and that's just by going through the back loops and then there's uh, one where you go under both and this one I forgot to go back loop only so it doesn't look as pretty but I'm going to show you the correct way to do this this one so first you want to pick the color that you want for your inner ear and you're still going to be using your five, your um, three millimeter hook size C hook so grab the color you want for the inside of your ear okay with your purple yarn if you're making it the same color that I did so with the purple you'll want to chain three and we're going to go into that very first chain get a little closer for you here and we're going to make a little loop here by slip stitching chain one now you're going to do six and you're going to be working over your tail six single crochets worked in the center two three, four, five, and six. Right, pull that tight, but not too tight. So we have two, four, six. This is the sixth one here. And we're going to be doing a single crochet, two single crochets in each stitch. So we're going to be doing a single crochet increase in each of our single crochets. So, two single crochets in that one, that's two, three increases, four increases, five increases, and this is the sixth increase here. We should have twelve. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 stitches. Now for round 3, you want to chain 1, which will put a step up on you. And then in the next stitch, you want to put 2 double crochets. And then in the next stitch as well, you want to put 2 double crochets. And then the next stitch you want to put a half double crochet. And then single crochet in the remaining nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now you want to slip stitch in the next stitch, chain one and cut your yarn. It doesn't have to be long, it can be a short tail. You can be stuffing this in later, so it's probably better if it's shorter. Okay, so that's the inner part of the ear. So now we need to get the other color yarn. Okay, I got my other color. You don't have to leave a tail on this one either. I mean, just uh, long enough for you to be able to hide it later if you need to. Okay, so we're going to have the back of our project facing us. And it doesn't really matter where. I'm going to just pull this tail through here. You want to make this part needs to look neat. The back does not because it's going to be covered in a second. So you want to pick somewhere to attach your yarn, preferably not where it ended here. And if you want to have the same look as I have here where you see a little bit of the color still then you want to go through your back loop only but if you don't want it to show then you can go under both loops I think I'm gonna go through the back loop only because I really think it's a cute look so you wanna you can slip stitch attach or you can do what I did and just pull up a loop and then 
No, you definitely need a slip stitch attach. I forgot. This is a slip stitch row. This very first one, if you don't leave your loop big enough, it gets hard to go in later. So I'm going to take a moment to make sure my loop on my hook is not too tight. Then I'm going to go under the back loop only here. Slip stitch to attach. Now go into all 14. You should have a total of 14 at the end of this row stitches. Just take your time grabbing up that first loop you can grab here, which is the back of the stitch. And not too tightly, you want to slip stitch. Okay, so for round two, and this is going to be the same for rounds two through five. You're going to have 14 stitches and you're going to be working in the back loop only. So you've got this front loop facing you. You want to go into the back loop and do a single crochet. So not the front loop, back loop only. Single crochet. And you'll have 14 stitches all the way around. I guess I'm going to use this uh, little piece that's just sitting here to kind of mark my place at the beginning. So you're going to be working in the back loop only 14 stitches all the way around for for four rows total. So for rows two through five. And you can get your hook and just grab it like that if you need to. And you're going to be leaving this front loop, little front loop there on your project. You can see it start to stay behind as you're grabbing up that back loop. It's hard to do it when it's not right in front of my face, so I'm going to have to to shut this off. So when you come here towards the end, when you come close to the end of the row, I recommend stopping and counting, starting with the stitch you just did. And you're supposed to have 14, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So I know that this is my 14th stitch here. So I'm going to grab up that back loop. There. So this is going to be my first stitch of the round for round 3. And again, I'm grabbing up just those back loops only. So I'm going to continue for rows 3, 4, and 5. So a total of 4 rows. We already did 1, so we need to do 3 more working in the back loops only. Okay, and you can pull all your little tails from the inside. If it's annoying you, pull it through to this side. Okay, so I just did my 4 rows. Worked a uh, single crochet in the back loop only. And now I've reached the end of my row. Uh, I recommend if you have any tails to go ahead and pull them out through this direction. Because we're going to go ahead and push this into the center because this is the center of the ear. And we're going to fold the this back part back. So right now it's going to be inside out. Now you can stuff all your tails and everything in there. And now I'm going to just kind of pop this back in because it's going to be folded together. And this should cover, the green should cover the yellow area. I'm just trying to stuff all the little tails in. Looks like they're a little long to stuff completely. There we go. Okay, now I'm taking my ear back up. Looks a little thin here, so I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet on this corner and the next stitch too, I guess. There we go. Just want it to cover, just cover that yellow and be able to touch because we want to slip stitch, sew. So I'm going to go through one stitch and then the next. And then the one on my hook. So go through one stitch on one side, then through the other slip stitch. This one needs to be done again. 
doesn't have to be perfect but just try to keep it towards going straight you can always undo it real quick if you need to it looks good though so I'm going to go ahead and chain one leaving myself a tail to sew this on Now I have both my ears done. And you got your head. Let me grab the eyes. Okay, for the eyes, I used felt and cut out a couple of pieces. Um, I left one of the sides kind of pointy on both of them. And my daughter has cut out a, a big piece, like in the middle, a middle, a uh, big piece, and then a small piece, kind of round. I'm going to put the bigger ones there, kind of t pointing towards the more pointy end. And then these go in the back corner. Like that. That's how she wanted them, but you can do whatever you want. I just wanted to show you how I made my eyes. And the first time I did this, I made a mistake and I just I tried to glue the blue uh, the black on, and then you tried to glue these on using the hot gun. Bad idea. So what I recommend doing is attach them now, because uh, you want to make sure you don't get the glue or anything on the black. So if you're using a hot glue gun, you just want to you know just just dab and wipe just a little and then you can attach it and do that for all the pieces and then once the pieces are done and dried then attach this onto your your head so I waited until I had the ears and the eyes to attach kind of going off to the side with the point facing the nose then once I had the eyes kind of looking at me and I thought, okay, that's cute. Then I grabbed my ears and then went to see where they would look like on the, on the unicorn. And I rem try to remember that you have a horn that's going to go here in between. Let me grab my other piece real quick. Oh, and here's the eye that she she drew for me. She wanted me to put a little bit of uh, eyelashes and stuff there. I did mean to do that. I did mean to do that, but I kind of forgot. But this is uh, this is her, and this one you can see their eyes are a little bit more closer together. So if you want to go by what I did, you can put them just a little bit more closer together. And then it looks like I attached the ears using the eyes as a guide. But I wanted to show you real quick on my girl here. See, I did it from the side. So I took my ear and wherever you want to attach it, remember you're going to be sewing this direction. So you're going to start in by going through one of the stitches on the, the doll head and then bring it up into the ear itself like this and then you'll go back and forth and then I recommend putting the ear now a little bit on this way so you can see on this side too and then do a few on that side as well and then you can just hide it up you hide your tail up the way of the ear if you want and then cut it and that's how you can sew the ears on Okay, to make the horn, again, we're going to be using the three millimeter hook and you're going to chain three. Then slip stitch in that very first stitch to form a ring like we did before and chain one. Now you're going to work over your tail and put six single crochets worked in the middle. Okay, and six. So two, four, six. So 
For round two, you want a single crochet in each of those six. So definitely count two, four, six. This is my sixth stitch. Two, four, six, yes. So you want to put one single crochet in each of those six single crochets. So that's two, three, Is that the same? No. Four, five, and six. And now you want to make sure before you start this next row that you're, you push that center out. You don't want to be working with it inside out. Okay, so once you got it inside out, you're ready for round three. So for round three, you want to single crochet one in the next stitch and then two in the following stitch. You're going to be doing an increase. So you want to do single crochet, then single crochet increase. And I didn't uh, place a marker here because it's very difficult to put a marker there and try to crochet around it. So I'm just going to count my stitches. So that was one, and then I did an increase. So that's two, three, then four, then here's my next increase, five, six, the next stitch is seven, the next increase is eight, and nine. So for round four, we're going to single crochet in all those nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. For round five, we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll do another increase. So we're going to do this uh, a total of five times. So single crochet in the next stitch, then do a single crochet increase by putting two in the same stitch. So we want to repeat that four more times. So that was one. This is two. And this is three. And this is my final time to, to do single crochet and then a single crochet increase. We should have 13 stitches. Let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So for the next four rounds, you want to single crochet in all your 13 stitches. This right here is my very first stitch. And this thing is being annoying for now. So for now, I'm just going to pull it through just to mark. My very first stitch. So for four rounds, just put one single crochet in each stitch. So I'll see you back here after round nine. Okay, so I'm looking at my horn here. I did my four rows and it's looking about, it's looking, uh, eh, it's, it's okay. But I do think I'm going to do one more row. I know I said, uh, rounds, uh, six through nine, four rows, but I'm going to go ahead and add one more row to that. And I'm going to do this one more round. So through rounds uh, six through ten. So I've come up to my marker area. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch, cut my yarn, because remember you're going to need to sew this on. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my marker here, which is in this tail four, bring that inside. 
can go inside here. You want to stuff this piece so you get some stuffing. And you know, on a unicorn, kids love to mess with the horn. I won't need this much stuffing, but definitely stuff it well. You don't have to do any more crocheting on it or anything, so make sure you get it all the way in to the tip on the inside if you can. Okay. So once you do, back up just a bit, always go the wrong way. <laughs> once you do and you have your ears, because I recommend attaching your eyes and your ears first so that you can go in between those two things and then you'll be getting your hook I mean your tapestry needle and once you get it where you want it you're gonna go in again through the stitches on the head first and then into your hook and don't be like me where you have stuffing sticking out remember if it's too too much stuffing just get rid of it because you don't want any stuffing sticking out here so anyway you go through the head and then the tail I mean the horn and you'll do that all the way around making sure that it's gonna stay on really good okay so the last thing I want to show you is how to make the last thing this last thing I have to show you to crochet is this is the arms so you're going to need two different colors and you can be creative here you can have two different colors for each one of these the same with the ears they don't have to be the same color you can go different colors wherever you want we decided on orange but you can use green or yellow or any color that you want okay to make the arms again we're going to start with chaining three and going to that first chain slip stitch to form a ring and chain one now again we'll be working over our tails and putting six single crochets worked in our ring it's two three four five and six now we're going to single crochet increase in all our six stitches start counting from backwards two four all right two four six so this is my beginning stitch and I'm going to do an increase in each one so we'll have 12 at the end so I'm just going to count that I'm going to put two single crochets in each of my stitches so this will be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve for round three we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase and we'll have 18 stitches at the end of round three so we're going to begin by doing a single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase by putting two single crochets in the next so that was one that's my second time doing it which gives me five six stitches so make sure I'm in the next stitch yeah so I've done it twice got seven stitches that's eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm supposed to have 18. Let me see where I am. I must have miscounted. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. I did miscount. So I don't need this very last. And this is why we have markers. I'm going to back out my last increase in single crochet. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. It's supposed to have 18. So 16, 
I really don't know how I ended up doing that. Seventeen. And then this should be eighteen. Should put a stitch marker there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, I have eighteen stitches now. Before I make that mistake again, just so I know roughly where the end of my row is, I'm going to put the stitch marker. Okay. So for round four, we're just going to be putting a single crochet in each one of those stitches. So it's easy enough just to count up 18 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Now for round five, we're going to be single crocheting in all 18 stitches. The only difference is we're going to be using those back loops only. So again, we're going to be leaving the front loops and just grabbing up the back loops. So in the next stitch, skip this first, the front stitch, and just put a single crochet in that back stitch only. And you can see we're starting to leave the front loops behind. And you'll be doing this for 18 stitches. So we've done it for, we can count the front loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And I believe this is, yep, this is where we change our color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this color and grab up my next. Okay, since I'm switching colors, I like to finish the very last stitch. So I'm going to back out leaving just my two loops here. There we go. Grab up my new yarn, beat it through my loops, and just so I don't have a loose beginning stitch, I'm going to go ahead and not too tightly, just a couple of knots here. So for the next 20 rows, we're going to be doing a single crochet. Hold on, let me see my piece here. Yeah. Okay, for rows 6 through 38, we're just going to be putting one single crochet in each stitch around. And you have 18 stitches. And right now, you don't really need the marker because this marks your way, but you can place it after maybe your 10th row so that you know that you've, you're halfway there. And then you can continue to do the other 10 rows. You want to do a total of 20 rows. Okay, after you get done with round 38, you have your 20 rounds done. You're going to slip stitch. Actually, uh, just leave it, leave it on for a moment. You want to go ahead and stuff your, your leg. Remember, always try to push it all the way down to the very end. Try to stuff it as much as you can. But you're going to be sewing this end. So just make sure that it's 
stuffed enough but not overstuffed where it's going uh, past your stitches too much and you're going to do the same thing you did with the ear go ahead and go through stitch on one side and then the stitch on the other side and then slip stitch going to be slip stitching go through the stitch on one side and then the stitch on the other side and slip stitch just continue this all the way down it's going to be easier for me to do this off camera okay when you come to the end of your row this is where you'll chain one and then leaving yourself quite a bit of tail not a lot but enough to sew on you don't need a lot lot enough to sew on your arm and then I'll show you how to sew that arm in a minute first I want to show you how to do the hair okay the hair you'll want to change over to your bigger size hook your five millimeter hook or a size H hook and you want to have all of your your eyes and your your horn and your ears sewn on we have all the pieces sewn on because this uh, hair, when you make it, you'll be attaching it uh, before you stop with it, before you finish it. Um, so you'll create it and then attach it right away. So you want to make sure that everything is where it needs to be so that you know where to attach it. Oh, when you make your slip knot, make sure that you leave some tail at the beginning so you can hide it back into your hair later. Also, don't make your chain too loose because we need this to curve on us. So don't make it too tight where you can't get into it. I mean, you don't want it really, really tight, but you don't want it loose either. So don't chain too loosely. Okay, once you have your chain of 30, you want to go in from the second chain from the hook, and you put two single crochets into that stitch. And you're going to repeat that for every chain, I mean, for all of your chain, putting two single crochets in each stitch and again don't do this too loosely because you want it to curl and you know that you're doing it tight enough if you start to see like this you start to see the hair curling so I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to be so much easier for me okay if your hair starts to kind of go another way you can just start from the bottom where it, where it is doing good and then just turn it twist it till it's all the going the right correct way when you get done with the your very last chain then you want to grab your head and attach it and I'll show you here once you've got everything on there there's the horn and then here are the ears and I started attaching it on the row behind the ears you see this row here that goes behind the ears I started there and I went back and I think I did about uh, two and a half rows I did one uh, strand of each color but I would make sure that I would go at least to the ear if I could on both sides so that it would be easy enough to have it fall in front of the ear sometimes which it has done while messing with it I have lots of pictures on my my website and also I have a free PDF on this I'm gonna also release it's gonna have uh, on my pattern and PDF it'll have over 50 pictures on there that'll help you be able to attach this and everything so I'm going to show you how I attached it. So when you find your row that you want to work on, so say the ears are here, and I want to say that this is the, I want it more on the back of the head, here maybe, then all you want to do is just go into one of those stitches, and then you're just going to slip stitch this on. And you'll cut your yarn. and you can pull your hook out of there and then what I would do is grab both my tails and tie them just like that 
and then later on uh, I would go through and hide the tails through the hair using a tapestry needle. And I just did one of each color and how I uh, would attach the yarn is I would have one stitch that had the yarn so then I would skip the next stitch and then the next stitch I would attach the yarn, skip a stitch, next stitch I would attach yarn and I would do that until I got to both sides of the ears then I would move down and moved my hair out of the way and I would go to the very next row and if I had a uh, hair attached here for this stitch I would move over and do it on the skip stitch area see I'd have a skip stitch here so I would do the next set of hair on the next row down in the space here where the skip stitch would be that way it'll be not in a row and it'll be more fuller okay so when you're ready to sew on your head you want to have this white line as this is what you're going to be sewing your unicorn to. It's white, that's white, everything's white. It's essentially like going to be her neck. So what I did is I attached the, the head first and I went through the stitch on the afghan and then through, the, through a stitch on the head and I just went around uh, the side move this arm like it's not there and I did the same thing with the this arm here as you can see it is the width of this so I just I continued trying to make sure that I had my head move this other way in the center of where that white is and remember this is essentially the neck so you want to you want to attach in the center. You want to make sure that this white line is in the center of your your head or more towards the back actually yeah more towards the back. So I only sewed like so hard to, to show on camera like this. This is why I'm not even going to try to to show you how to sew it on because it's you would never be able to see it. But try to attach it to where at least this to here back is attached so you leave like one third of it to front and you're just gonna sew it on like that some in, in the head some down here so you want to do that first um, and then make sure that you have it on the right way obviously uh, and then after I got my head sewn on then I would grab my my arm and then line it up with the white row and with the head where it was sewn and I would actually go through the head and the afghan sometimes where it was sewn here and then the leg sometimes I was going through three of them but most of the time I just went through two but I just really wanted to take time and secure it on there and so that it would uh, it would come out attached on this side as well because I didn't want to just attach here so when I got done with here I fed it through and then I sewed made sure that it was attached really good onto the afghan on this side of the arm as well and then when you pick it up if you uh, see here I started attaching the head part to the back part of the row so which means when I started to sew I sewed this part of the row onto the head and then I brought up my see like this see this is the back part of the row so I'd sew it like this and then whenever I was ready to do the next part of the sewing so you sew here and then go up forward a little bit and sew along this part of the row so that you have this part of the row attached and this part of the row attached to the head giving it double attachment so you have something like this so that when you lift it when the, the doll is lifted that whole row essentially becomes her neck and just be careful when you're sewing don't uh, don't go into any other rows just try to stick with this this white one so you're going to start to attach it on this side and then you'll lift this part up to the head 
and sew it here too so that way when it gets picked up this part will be the neck that's the best way I can show you how to sew her on and then uh, you can always fill in with more hair if you want you can also go different lengths if you want you don't have to do 30 chains you can do more if you like like and share it helps me out so much and if you always want to be notified whenever I release a new tutorial you can go on my main YouTube page and right next to the subscribe button there's a little bell and if you click that bell it will always tell you whenever I've released a new tutorial also I have groups on Facebook and I'm on Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook and I'm everywhere so you can find all my social media links down below including the my pattern onto my my main website meladoracreations.com and you can find the pattern for free and also a link to the PDF so I recommend that you go there and check it out thank you so much for watching